coming out of the people who are doing the accusations, and yet it is really building. In your article here, you talked about uh, General Philip Breedlove, who keeps repeating the phrase Russian aggression. Talk, talk about that and uh, the uh, bill that's coming up that they put in uh, the Senate. Well, <clears throat> what we know is uh, whatever was the cause of the airliner coming down, Washington immediately seized on it to demonize Russia. Yes. <clears throat> and we've seen this demonization, and as you just pointed out, there's never any evidence provided in behalf of the accusations and insinuations against Russia. Well, what has now happened is, um, even though uh, Obama had to permit a U.S. intelligence to issue a statement to reporters, that there was no evidence uh, directly connecting Russia to the downing of the airliner. Um, this is already now buried under the assertions and reassertions of Russian aggression, Russian aggression. So we have two things uh, going on that really point toward a major war. Uh, one is a breed love. Uh, he's a four-star general and uh, NATO commander, American. And he has a plan that he is presenting at the NATO summit in September that requires an enormous buildup of uh, military stockpiles, equipment uh, on the Russian border such that uh, troops could uh, instantly attack Russia in uh, mass. So he is, he is mobilizing his plan is to uh, provide the provisions and supplies necessary for uh, a massive uh, response to Russia. Of course, the excuse is it will be to forestall or to deal with a Russian incursion from Russian aggression. But we don't have any evidence of any Russian war plans to attack Europe. We don't see any uh, statements um, of Russian expansionism. Uh, we don't uh, see um, any statements that the Russians see themselves as exceptional and indispensable people. <laughs> and, and, you know, in light so, of that, uh, Dr. Roberts, it, it's, it's even worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis. I mean, there, we were aggressively trying to expand things at the time. And yet, you know, when the Soviet Union starts moving missiles right up to our country, right there in Cuba, it got pushed back. We're now doing the same thing, even with less reason than the Russians had initially to put uh, missiles in Cuba. We're doing that to the Russians now. And of course, when they, when a journalist uh, told uh, Vladimir Putin in a press conference that, of course, we, we're not amassing these forces on your border, it doesn't have anything to do with you, he laughed at her. He, know, he knows what this is about. Yeah, I, I hope so. Uh, so <clears throat> we have that. And then we have the Senate bill, 2277, mm -hmm. I think it's the number. Uh, and this bill is uh, co-sponsored so far by 22 U.S. senators. Mm. And it says that, um, um, well, what it's about, it's got three titles. I describe it in my column. But it's about um, equipping NATO, uh, beefing up American uh, military presence on Russian borders, uh, supporting the American financed NGOs inside Russia, you know, putting more money so that they can be used as fifth columns mm -hmm. in the way that they were used in Kiev against the elected government. Uh, it's it's about uh, upping the propaganda about Russia, uh, piping more propaganda into the Russian Federation and preparing for war. It's essentially about preparing for war. So it go, it matches uh, the breed love uh, suggestion. Now, why is this happening? Well, um, um, we have uh, uh, information that uh, among policy circles in Washington, there is the belief that at this time, the United States has such a strategic superiority over Russia that the United States can win a nuclear war. Mm. And that this, and that this uh, strategic superiority uh, is not permanent because uh, Russia is making a comeback under Putin, and they're rapidly improving their military, and that uh, 
wow. should should we use this superiority now? That is that is really key, uh, Dr. Roberts. We want they, to continue they, on that. The fact that they believe that they've got a window of opportunity here to win a nuclear war. We're talking to Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former Assistant Treasury Secretary of the Treasury in the Reagan administration. We're going to be right back. Looks like they think they can win a nuclear war, so they're pushing for it. Really is like Dr. Strangelove. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. Silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. What good is a Big Berkey water filter. We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is constantly concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in studio, and I have on the line Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, American economist and columnist and a former assistant secretary of the Treasury during the Reagan administration and co-founder of Reaganomics. And Dr. Roberts, just before we went to break, you had a bombshell statement. I want you to repeat that again. We're talking about uh, uh, General Breedlove, and you were saying that you believe that they think they can 
they've got a window of opportunity to win a nuclear war here with Russia. That this isn't just about reviving the Cold War for the military industrial complex's uh, profits, but they actually want to push into a confrontation. It certainly looks like that. But but go ahead. I want you to continue with that. If you could restate that, because that was uh, that's very important. David, um, this isn't uh, new or anything. In fact, uh, one of the articles uh, is available. It's in the um, uh, Foreign Affairs, the publication of the Council on Foreign Relations, which is uh, one of the main uh, vehicles where U.S. foreign policy is discussed and, and, and worked out. And there's an article there. It's several years old. I don't really remember. And in which it explicitly makes clear that uh, the United States has this advantage that there's a wind of opportunity, that the advantage is so great that the United States can initiate war with Russia, win, and be rid of the threat of another global power coming on the scene that could block American hegemony in the world. Mm -hmm. You may know, David, you may know that uh, the Brzezinski Doctrine and the Wolfowitz Doctrine both yeah. say that it's imperative on American foreign policy and military strategy to prevent the rise of any other global power. Yes. This is um, the goal, and that's what works, that's what the Ukraine works into. So, uh, and, and this, these sorts of things are discussed uh, in Washington, and the same sort of alleged wind of opportunity existed during the Cuban Middle Missile Crisis. And uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff pressured President John F. Kennedy uh, to allow them to initiate a first strike on Russia, on the Soviet Union. And uh, the reason given was that they don't yet have delivery capabilities for their hydrogen bombs that can penetrate uh, our airspace. And so we have a chance now to knock them out. Well, Kennedy went berserk. He said, you people are crazy. And uh, so on, and it's, it's one of the reasons uh, people who have spent their life studying the Kennedy assassination, I believe that the uh, Joint Chiefs uh, and the CIA were involved. Certainly. Now we have, though, a president who, very much unlike John F. Kennedy, wants to take advantage of these windows of opportunity. It's not just pressing this, this doctrine to uh, win a nuclear war with their quote-unquote window of opportunity, but they've got a window of opportunity to completely remake the American economy. They've been talking about the Cloward and Piven strategy since the 1960s as well, and now they have an opportunity to implode the economy with a massive expansion uh, of the entitlement state, and now they're looking to press what they think is their window of opportunity here with the nuclear weapons? Well, David, you can't uh, overlook the fact that I'm sure Obama is being told, look, we missed the chance on the Kennedy. We mustn't miss it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's like there's not any, every, everything that we consider to be a crisis, and they have created multiple crises throughout the world and in our country. They view every one of those crises, I think, as an opportunity, don't they, Dr. Roberts? That's why they create them. Right? Yeah, that's right. Now, what, what I think um, has happened in the Ukraine, and this is important, uh, uh, Putin I saw what the American plot was, and he understands that the ability of the United States to act unilaterally, unilaterally in the world really depends on um, the support Washington has from Europe. And therefore, when he's faced with this sort of provocative uh, uh, militarism in Ukraine, he backed off of replying in any military way. He asked the Duma to rescind his authority to use Russian forces in Ukraine. And his, his bet was that uh, by being unprovocative, by being very reasonable, very diplomatic, he might can break off Europe from the United States or some major country in the, in the EU, and that this would uh, be, be the beginning of the unraveling of NATO and thereby prevent this um, drive toward nuclear war. So that's Putin's bet. That's why there's been no uh, Russian military response 
to the slaughter of the uh, Russian populations in eastern and southern Ukraine. By we, have, we have to go to a break right now, Dr. Roberts. I want to pick up on that because we had an article touching on that yesterday, talking about the relationship between Germany and Putin and where that might happen with the BRICS and whether the Germany might be pushed into that or if that might be even what's behind the NSA surveillance of Germany. We're going to be back with Dr. We're Paul Craig Roberts.